Hello everyone and welcome to Baitu's exam prep, the most comprehensive preparation app for all exams. So good morning to all of you and I hope you are aware that we are running a series uh, for the upcoming CLAT examination. So I am giving you questions from the Hindu newspaper of the last six months and these are very 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 important questions that I am coming up with and uh, uh, yes uh, for the 18th December CLAT examination this will be very very important. Very important hoga. I have made the questions on the CLAT pattern. So things which are in news associated with that, I'm asking questions in detail. So if I'm audible and visible, just write in the comments. Yes, sir, you're audible so that we can start. Agar meri awaz hai, to ek bar likh do. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, so this is the first question in front of you. Please read the questions carefully and then answer it. Yes, good morning, everyone. Uh, so which of the following is correct and this is related with actually uh, a question is related with china so read it and then answer it whatever is the answer and whenever you are answering it explain the reasons why you are answering so jo bhi aap answer bata rahe ho option a b c d jo bhi aap bata rahe ho uska answer aap explanation ke saath do yesterday we had a let exam and uh, many questions came directly from our classes jaise for example maine bataya tha ews reservation ka judgment bataya tha yes so Janhit Abhyan case. These are the things we discussed in this series. This series we have discussed. I hope you remember. <coughs> yes, Vinayak Joshi, Arya. Uh, many people has actually answered it. I caught the, we can say the point. But uh, I am asking, ki, what is the right answer? It is reaching big third term, right? So what is the answer? D hoga ya C hoga? Kya answer kya hai? Some people are saying C, some are saying D. <coughs> yes, Shreya Rajput, right? Haan. So the first line says 28th National Congress of Chinese Communist Party recently happened on 16th October 2022. Is it correct statement? Yes, this is a correct statement. Yeh bhi recently hua tha. Chinese Communist Party ka 16 October ko National Congress hua tha, right? Which actually uh, gave another term to actually uh, Xi Jinping, the president of China. So, and that will, that will be his third term. Okay. So, B is the wrong statement. A is the correct statement. Okay. Then Jiang Zemin, who was the president of China from 1993 to 2003 and the first president uh, and he was the first president to visit in India, passed away recently. That is also correct. So A and C is the right answer to this question. It means the right answer is option D. So the sahi jawab hai aapka, <coughs> wo D option hai. Garvit Sani, please do not spam. Bar bar aap ek cheez na likhe. We will show you the questions that have asked, that were asked from our classes. Theke? Okay. Yes, uh, let me show you. Uh, this is Jiang Zemin and he was the president of uh, China. If you see it carefully, we have discussed it in our paid classes in detail also. 1993 to 2003, he was the president of China and uh, he was the first Chinese president to visit India. Okay, and he passed away recently. You can say 1st December news, so they can ask this, of course. And this is his photo uh, actually uh, in front of Taj Mahal. So just have an idea about Jiang Zemin. Please go and read about it. Uh, they can ask questions with that. Now, let's talk about Xi Jinping. Uh, so, if you see it carefully, he assumed the office on 15th November 2012. 15th November 2012, took the office. So, if you add 5 years, it becomes 2017. If you add another 5, it becomes 2022. So, he recently completed his second term. So, now he will be given one more term. So, that will be his third term. Okay, so just have an idea that he has been given the third term. Okay. So that is why uh, instead of fourth, this should be third and rest is fine. So D is the right answer to this question. Just have an idea because yes, this is very important. This can be asked in exam. So star mark it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, the next one is this question. Uh, this is a question related with uh, the Supreme Court and High Court and all the strength of the judges. So first me, let me tell you, I hope you are aware of this question, uh, this type of thing. Recently, uh, Mr. Ashwani Kumar Opadhyay filed a petition to increase the number of judges or double the number of judges. Yes, 
and supreme court actually junk the plea means rejected the plea and that is why i am asking a questions related with that so to increase the maximum strength of supreme court and high court etc and all so what is the procedure that is what i am asking you right Kasak Pahuja and other people, Jiska bhi elet thoda sa achha nahi gya hai, koi baat nahi, thik hai? Abhi aap clat par focus koro, if you focus on the past, you cannot change the past. Jho pehle ho gya, usko to aap change nahi kar sakte ho. Lekin jho aane wala usko aap badal sakte ho, right? So instead of lamenting on the past, if you are focusing on future, you will be the winner, thik hai? To agar maal jya past par zahadha dhyan do ge, ab to exam ho gya na, jho result aana ho ga aega, ab aap dhyan do athara par. So your complete focus should be on 18th December, not on the 11th December. That is what I am telling you. Kushlok D bata rahe, Kushlok E bata rahe, what is the right answer? Mane bataya tha, I still remember when I was discussing the Hindu classes, I told you that go and find out who can increase the maximum strength of in Supreme Court and High Court. Mane bataya tha. Anyone else? I still remember I told you this. Everyone, please press the like button. We are seeing only 26 like, 89 is watching. Are you all like button? Press kado. Fata fat. Yes, the maximum strength of Supreme Court is changed by the Parliament of India. Yes, that's correct. Okay. The maximum strength of High Court is changed by Parliament of India. No. The maximum strength of High Court is changed by state legislature of the state concerned. No. So the right answer to this question is option A. Only A is the right answer to this question. Okay. So now the question is. Then who can change or who can increase the strength of total uh, total strength of judges in high court? So the question is that high court judges ki numbers can in total strength join koon bada sakta hai. So can anyone answer me? Supreme Court bataya tha or high court ka pata karne ho kaata. Yes, Subhash Srivastava. I told you this. Thik hai? So the right answer is yes. Now 124 and 216. Both the articles are actually in front of you. Aapke saamne hai. Aap dekh sakte ho. So article 124 says establishment, there shall be Supreme Court of India constituting Chief Justice and until by Parliament by law prescribe a larger number, not more than seven other judges. So the strength of Supreme Court can be increased by Parliament of India. And the strength of a High Court can be increased by President of India. Okay? So the answer should be President of India. Yes, Vandana is right. Arya Timgere, you all are right. I have told you, I still remember when I was teaching the Hindu analysis, I told you it is your homework to find out who can increase the high court judges strength. So that is president of India. You must be knowing it because this was in the news. SAB Collegium and Jackie sub kafi news me chal hai. So they can ask questions from here, of course, appointment of judges and all. You must be aware of it. Yes. So president is the right answer. Huh? Presidential order say. <coughs> now, since NJAC is very much in the news, आपको पता होगा <coughs> ये तो आपने देखा होगा ना एनजैक काफी ज्यादा न्यूज़ में है एंड ऑल नेशनल जुडिशियल एनजेएसी है ना सो फर्स्ट रीड द क्वेश्चन आंसर इट देन आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट इट आई हैव टॉट इन पेड क्लासेस इन डिटेल अबाउट इट एनजैक एंड ऑल सो यस सिंस इट इज अ न्यूज़ दे कैन आस्क क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम हियर आल्सो व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर Everyone, please press the like button. Sabko like button press kado. We are seeing 38 likes, 92 is watching. Sabko like button press kado. Everyone, guys. Yes. D. People are saying D. Kuch log bol rahe three, two. A and B. What's wrong with C option? So C option me kya garbar hai? Ratio was three to one. It was not four to one. Vedha Joshi. Arey. Prasanta Kumar is saying E. Piyush is saying E. Yes, uh, the right answer is actually NJAC stands for National Judicial Appointment Commission. Is it correct? Yes. It was a result of 99th Constitutional Amendment 2014. Mein aata na, so yes, correct. It was supposed to replace the collegium system in appointment of judges but was struck down by Supreme Court 4 to 1. Correct. The only dissenting judge was Justice Chalameshwar. Justice J. Chalameshwar. So that is also correct. He was the only dissenting judge. So 4 is to 1 is correct. It's not 3 is to 2. Okay? So A, B, C all are correct. The right answer is option E. Ye wala si hai. All were actually correct. So please go and read about NJAC. It was very much in the news. Why is the NJAC verdict at the center of the impasse over appointment of judges? Dekho, ye now December ki article hai. 
Then recently, yes, this is today's newspaper article. Uh, if you get to know, uh, National Judicial Appointment Commission bill introduced in Raj Sabha, Amadi Party opposes it. Isko fir se introduced kiya gaya hai. Now it has been again reintroduced in Parliament. So that is why it was in the news. So chances of questions from NJAC is very high. NJAC ye collegium se question poochhenge. Hamko aisa feel ho raha hai. I feel it. <coughs> yes. So you must be aware of it. Yes. Uh, now let's uh, talk another question associated with NJAC. Deko. So this is uh, another question about NJAC since NJAC is important. I have taught in paid classes. NJAC I have taught in detail. Okay. So those who are my paid batch of students should answer it. I have taught ki, uh, we can say what is uh, means NJAC should comprise of how many members, which are those members, kon kon members hongi, yes, I have paid classes. Mein padhaya hai. So those who are my paid batch students should answer it. Yes, at least. Others can also answer, but I am expecting my students those to answer it, paid students. Huh? Mm. Yes, Shubham, ha. So, aap answer to batao puras ka. Krishna Chaudhary, Neerja, KCTV. B.S. Yadav, <coughs> Vinayak Joshi, yes, uh, NJAC was supposed to comprise of six members which would recommend the name for appointment of judges in higher judiciary, right, it was supposed to have six members, not five, so this is right, it was perfect, it six members, the. okay, okay, paid classes, go to the app, Piyush, please go to the app, download the Baiju's exam prep app, okay, uh, in the CLAT and law section, mein. And one page section over talk to counselor. Talk to the counselor and you will get to know about our paid classes. Okay. Ah. So NJAC was supposed to be a six member body. A bilkul perfect. It was 124 constitutional amendment bill. When it was passed, it became a 99 constitutional amendment act. So ye bhi sahi hai. Jo bill tha ho, ek was sahi ki bill tha. It was struck down by uh, Supreme Court in Supreme Court Advocates on Record Association versus Union of India case 2015. That is also correct. Isko hum log fourth judges case bhi kehte hai sometimes. It is also called as fourth judges case. Okay. Yes. A naam pooste hai judges ka, ke court ka. Jasa abhi recently poocha kya tha. A-let, me a-let me yesterday. They asked about EWS reservation, name of judgment. And I taught this in classes. Yes or no? Isi series me mene padaya tha. Jan Heta Bhyan case. Jan Heta Bhyan. We have discussed these things. Versus Union of India case. So that is why you should be knowing it. And the right answer to this question is option E. Ek, do, teen. All three are actually correct. So there's a homework. Those who are not my paid batch students should go and find out who are those six members. Ye chhe member kon kon hai. Isko find out karo. Please go and find out. It is important since Jack is in the news, they can ask it. So this is the Supreme Court judgment. Or ye, yehi tha, fourth judge's case. So it was struck down four is to one. Okay. Also called as fourth judge's case. Yes. You can see it here. This is the name of the judgment. Right? Supreme Court Advocates on Record Association and other versus Union of India case. So only this was the judge who dissented. But the four is to one tha, ye tha. Baki other force actually struck down. Okay. So just have an idea about it. So the right answer is E all of the above. Okay. Yes. Uh, this is actually recently a petition has been filed in Supreme Court to reconsider uh, college M system, revive in Jack and all. Ye kafi zade news mein. Uh, there's a homework. Those who are have not studied, please go and read first judges, second judges, third judges and fourth judges case. Is se bahut zade chance hai question poochne ka. First judges case, second judges case, third judges case and fourth judges case. Please go and read it because they talked about evolution of college M system. And since college M system is in the news, you must be aware of it. I have taught in detail in our paid classes. Yes. Please go and read about it. They can ask it again. Huh. Now, uh, before moving on, we are running a test series for CLAT also. The upcoming CLAT exam for, on 18 December. 45 plus marks, 20 CLAT, 25 non-CLAT mock test, 9000 plus practice questions will be there. Test series will be curated by NLU alumni based on actual exam pattern. Please subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon also. And everyone we are seeing 46 like 98 is watching. Subscribe like button press. Kado. 
seven days maha revision series schedule extra dose so we are running it on our youtube channel so please do follow us Anna. okay and subscribe to our channel also uh, the next one is also was very much in the news so i'm giving question on that uh, which of the following is correct about it huh. yes yes alefia shubham you all are right so you have to read the four judges case first judges second judges third judges fourth judges case hai na? Ye charo padna hai. evolution of collegium system how a transfer of a high court judge happens appointment of a high court judge supreme court judge what are the number of uh, say judges in the collegium for appointment of supreme court judge or for appointment of high court judge or for transfer of high court judge Ye se pooch sakte hai, hai? Yeah. yes good, good very good uh, Vashnavi Chaudhary has answered it very good Yes, they go in August this year, Nancy Pelosi, the speaker of US House of Representatives visited Taiwan, right? Yes, that's correct. House of Representatives is the upper house. No, it's a lower house of US Congress. So what is the upper house of US Congress? Can anyone tell me? Yes, very good. Most of the people are Deba, Simrela, Anisha, you all are right. Uh, Taiwan is also called as Republic of China. Yes, that is also correct. China, we call PRC, the People's Republic of China. Yes. So, uh, B is wrong, A is right, C is right. So, the right answer to this question is option D, A and C. Okay, yes, Neha, Prakhar, Ashi, Seema, you all are right. Yes, Vaishnavi, Chaudhary, very good, very good. Ananchi, Hari, you all are right. Uh, the upper house is Senate. Right? So, Senate is the upper house. And House of Representatives is actually the lower house. So you can like uh, say ki it is similar to Lok Sabha and Senate is very similar to Raj Sabha. You can say like this. Right? So the right answer to this question is D is the right answer to this question. Uh, I hope you are aware that recently uh, this is Taiwan also called as Republic of China. So US from USA actually Nancy Pelosi recently visited Taiwan. And this was not liked by China and China started doing uh, you can say military operations and all or military drills around the Taiwan Strait and all. I hope you remember that we had discussed in our classes. Everyone, please press the like button. We are seeing only 47 likes. 104 is watching. Sabko white, uh, press, uh, press the like button. Sabko like button press kado. Then what's White House? Press US President's House. Saira, okay. Congress is Parliament. Okay. White House different things. Hai. Okay, we are seeing only 47 likes, 106 people are watching. So, like button press kode, everyone. Yes, uh, which of the following is correct about 44th Chess Olympiad? This also happened recently. And these are your options. Yes, Srashti Sharma, B.S. Yadav. So those who are saying D, jo log D rahe, what's wrong with option C? So please correct the option C. If you think that D is the right answer, it means C is wrong. So please correct the option C and tell what is the right. Anyone? <coughs> yes, uh, the right answer is actually D. So please, anyone correct what is C? Yes, Shreya Rajput, very good, correct. So, 44th Chess Olympiad happened in Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Yes, very good. This was the first Chess Olympiad. Ye pucha sakta hai. To take place in India, that is also correct. Toth, really a starter of the event was R. Pragnanda. No, it was actually Vishwarathan Anand. Okay, so the right answer to this question is D. A and B is the right answer. <coughs> Yes, you can see it here. Happened in Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Tors really a starter was Vishwarathan Anand. So this happened from 28 July to 9th August. And that is why you must be aware of it. I would suggest please go and read something about it. Thoda saur apne se padhiye daaki. Read more. Okay. Yes, just have an idea about it. Yes, it's near. Yes, Mahabali Puram is very near to Chennai. Right, huh? Then in August time, huh? Yes. Go and read it. It was earlier, earlier actually supposed to happen in Russia, okay, along with Chess World Cup 2019, but was later moved to Moscow. 
and it was scheduled to happen in 2020 but covid happened then after russia ukraine war happened so then it moved from russia to india and this is the first chess olympiad to be happening to happen in india so just have an idea about it go and read about it because these are important ones now the next one is also associated with the same topic which of the following is the mascot of 44 chess olympiad Chuki india me hua since it happened in india it becomes important ha chennai jo mahabalipuram kuch logon ne likha hai wo it's near chennai so generally we call it as chennai otherwise mahabalipuram bhi sahi hai yes everyone please press the like button sabko like button press kar do we are seeing only 57 likes 111 is watching sabko like button press kar do yaar pata pat and subscribe to our channel also yes uh, the right answer is thambi dekho maine ek cheez hint bataya hai whenever you find similar options agar do similar options dekh raha hai na so chances of being one of them right is very high agar char mein se do options similar lag raha hai to question maker ka wo subconscious mind mein ye jata hai ki ek option ko thoda sa change kar de so make sure yaad rakhna ki agar similar options mein chances zyada hota hai so b is the right answer to this question thambi the official mascot of 44th chess olympiad so that is about it so this is thambi Thumbi, you can see it here. And uh, so B is the right answer to this question. Uh, one more thing is that go and find out what is the meaning of it. The meaning kya hota hai? Thumbi ka. Yes, so just go and find out. Uh, the next one is uh, in front of you. This is a question <coughs> related with SCO, Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Which of the following is correct? अच्छा कोई बच्चा ये पूछा था कि सर आसियान का 11th मेंबर बनने जा रहा है यस सो द 11th मेंबर वुड बी ऑफ आसियान वुड बी ईस्ट टाइमोर ईस्ट टाइमोर ठीक है मे बी दे कैन आस्क दिस हां ब्रदर होता है हां ठीक है इसका आंसर बताओ पीपल सेइंग ई सो व्हाट्स रॉन्ग विद ऑप्शन सी Yes, Alephia, Yusuf Ali, Vaishnavi, Aditi, Arya, Debadrita, Nirja. Yes, you all are right. Shanghai Cooperation Organization is an eight-member grouping. Yes, correct. Its precursor is Shanghai Five, which was established in 1996. Correct. Its headquarters is in Shanghai. No, this is, you should be knowing it. It is not Shanghai. I I have taught many times. So, C is the wrong answer. And hence, the right answer to this question is option E, A and B. Okay. So, just have an idea about it. Yes, uh, let's move on to uh, the next one. Yes, go and read it. Hana. So, its precursor is Shanghai 5, 1996. Its headquarters is in Beijing, uh, the capital of China. And RAT's executive committee is headquarters in Tashkent, Uzbekistan. Okay, okay. Uh, before moving on, <coughs> I hope you are aware after the exam is over, we'll be running a detailed analysis of CLAT 2023. So, please press the like button. And subscribe to our channel also. So we'll be discussing section wise analysis, expected cutoff, memory based question, good attempts just after the exam is over. So please subscribe to our channel so that whenever we'll be putting a video, you will get the notification. Okay. Okay. Now let's talk something more about it. <coughs> uh, this is about SCO, Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Yes, Ashish Sharma, very good. Devbad Rita, Vaishnavi, Chaudhary. Now you all people are very smart. Okay. I try to I try to trap you, but you all know where is the trap. Iran is in process of becoming the ninth member of SCO. It applied last year. Yes, that's correct. SCO summit 2022 was held in Samarkand, which is not in Turkmenistan. In fact, Turkmenistan is not even a member of SCO. And it's Uzbekistan. So B is, uh, is the wrong statement. Anna. Then during the meeting, PM Modi said, today's era is not of war. That is also correct. So the right answer is E. Option E, A and C is the right answer. Okay. So yes, Ambika, Seema, you all are right. Harshika Jain, Ashita Jain. Yes, PM Modi said this. Ki Modi, PM Modi said, today's era is not of war. Okay. Yes, that's correct. 
it happened in Samarkand, Uzbekistan, 16 September, you can see 15, 16 September, they may ask the date also, okay. And uh, let me show you, here is India, this is Uzbekistan and this is the capital is, uh, there is a city called as Samarkand, not the capital, uh, okay, so just have an idea about it. Okay, uh, the next one is in front of you. So this is related with Myanmar. I hope you are aware in the last one or two years, everything is not fine with Myanmar and all. It was very much in the news. So that is why I'm asking questions related with that. Please do not copy others option. Ashishama is right, but although the argument is not correct. Huh? Seema is also right. Huh? Take oh, Myanmar's last year witnessed a military coup. Yes, last year on 1st February, last year, 2021. The military coup happened, which actually overthrew, uh, overthrew actually. The democratically elected government. So this is a correct statement. Aung San Suu Kyi was the president at that time. No, state councillor. State councillor at that time. She was not the president. Okay. And there were a lot of rules because of which she could not become. She is currently in jail and is facing the jail term of 76 years. Yes, that's correct. So the right answer is option E is the right answer to this question. Okay. <clears throat> Yes, uh, E is the right answer, Simrela Jan, you are also right, but she was not the Prime Minister, she was a state councillor, okay. So just have an idea, <coughs> faces total 26 years in prison, Yehikman Purani article at the Guardian say, uh, in prison after latest corruption sentence and all. I hope you are aware of this, she has been jailed in multiple cases, so add up, hote hote. okay, now it is 26 years of jail. Okay, now, uh, someone is asking, sir, who was the president, so he was the president, Wayne Mint was the president of Myanmar at that time and when military coup happened and he was actually he was also house arrested like uh, on San Suu Kyi at that time okay so just have an idea <clears throat> now then again the question related with the same topic because it was in the news so guys everyone please press the like button we are working very hard to come up with the content to ensure that question should directly come in the exam I puri koshish kar raha ki is tarah question banao taki aapko directly exam mein fayda ho jai okay so ek bar like button to banta hai na everyone yes so please press the like button everyone guys sab ko ha yes so i'm asking about ong sang suu ki and all some people are saying d some are saying e no yes Sir, Krishna Chaudhary, Anisha Das, Rakhi, D. Tukka, Tagas, Athasi. Yes, Anisha Das. Aung San Suu Kyi won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1991. Correct. Her political party's name is National League for Democracy. Correct. She emerged as a national icon after 888 uprising. So, this was an uprising. It was So, this was an uprising. It was against actually a military coup and all because Myanmar has a history of military coup. And in that protest, she emerged as actually 1988, she became famous and that is why three years later, she was given Nobel Peace Prize. Okay, so actually all of the above is the right answer. So E is the right answer to this question. Okay, thank you, Lakshya Gera. Yes, we will ensure that you will get benefit in the upcoming CLAT exam also. Yes, uh, this is 888 uprising, Anna. So this was actually, iske mein agar niche padoge, you will get to know that Aung San Suu Kyi emerged as a national icon because of this 888 uprising. Okay? And rest is fine. Ye, dono sahi hai. She, was, she won Nobel Peace Prize 1991. 1990, tha? Yes, we have discussed it. Hai na? So this, this, this all are correct. Okay? <coughs> so yes, because Myanmar is in news, they can ask questions. Yehi to main puri koshish kar raho. Taki agar idhar udhar se question puchhe, to aap aram se answer kar lo. Yes. आपको लग रहा हो कि हम ट्रिक में घुमा घुमा के क्वेश्चन दे रहे हैं लेकिन वो आपके फायदा के लिए दे रहे हैं 
Because let's say Myanmar is in news, so they can ask questions in history. If you have the previous year question, so they ask the, in detail. In 1990, I Michael Gorbachev. In 1991, I met Aung Yes, so Mr. Nancy, Debadita Shubham. Please read it carefully and then answer it. Fir se ghar se padhiya, fir answer kijiye. Oh my God, people are answering this also wrong. Yes, Sahil Madan has answered it. Very good, fantastic. A and F, we are actually interchanged. <laughs> Myanmar's old name is Burma, and Myanmar's old capital is Rangoon, which is now called as Yangon. A and B has been interchanged. Baki sab thik hai. New capital is Nai Pito. I think in 2014 or 15 it was made. Yes, the right answer is C is the right answer to this question. <coughs> Guys, this is very easy. Yes, Hindustan, Atif, Ashish, Lakshya, Gera, Seema, Krishna, Bikram, you all are right. Haan. Dekho. This is Myanmar, right? This is India's old name is Burma. Myanmar's capital earlier was Rangoon, it was earlier called. Now we call it as Yangon. Where actually Bahadur Shah Zafar died. I hope you are aware. Hana? Now the new capital is Nai Pito, somewhere here. Nai Pito bhi likhte, Nai Pito bhi likhte. Yes. Yes, Hari Om Abad. Haan. To bas ek hi bachche ne sahi jawab de paaya ki sir, wo interchange kiya hua hai. So that is how you should be knowing it. Thik hai? <coughs> so I want to test your attentiveness also. Because this is tested in exam. आपके एग्जाम में ये चेक किया जाता है कि आपका दिमाग कितना तेज चल रहा है सिर्फ नॉलेज नहीं होना चाहिए आप एंटरटेनिंग है कि नहीं ध्यान इधर उधर जा रहा है यस द नेक्स्ट वन इज दिस क्वेश्चन अगेन दिस इज एक्चुअली द क्वेश्चन अगेन रिलेटेड विद म्यांमार बिकॉज़ म्यांमार हैज बीन इन द न्यूज़ ऑन सांग सोकी एंड ऑल सो दैट इज व्हाई वी आर आस्किंग क्वेश्चन Yes. Which of the following is correct? Read it carefully and then answer it. Itna jaldi har badana nahi hai. Yes. Hai. Think it. Answer it by thinking it properly. A, B, kuch log D bata rahe. Whatever you are answering, uh, uh, yes. Currency is Myanmar is Kayak. Yes, Vinayak Joshi, right. Very good. B is precedent. So then what is the answer? LFEA and all other people. Answer to batao. Aap argument there. Yes. Currency uh, is not Nagaltram. It is a currency of Bhutan. So currency of Myanmar is Kayat. Yes. One person has answered it. Chalo. E galat ho gaya. Its prime minister is Min So. No. Its acting president is Wing Ong Lang. Again. Both are interchanged. B and C actually has been interchanged. Okay, so B and C is also wrong. So basically all are wrong. So the right answer is D. None of the above is the correct statement. Okay, so the currency of Myanmar is Kayat. Acting president is Min So. So you can see it here. Min So is the acting president of Myanmar since uh, 1st February. And Ming Ong Lang was the army chief actually, who actually led the military coup. Okay, and last year he himself declared himself to be the prime minister. Okay, so yes, this is the army chief of Myanmar. His name is Ming Ong Lang. So he's the same person. Okay. So when it attacks new title of prime minister in caretaker government. So last year, August, he declared himself to the prime minister. So he is the prime minister as well as chairman of state as well as the council. And he's basically army chief also. Okay. And the acting president is Min Sao. So just have an idea about it. Yes, Melinda August, uh, Melinda Augustine, right? Huh? Take care. Take care. So that is why we are giving this type of question to learn. I know that you will be learning something from today's class, even if you have read these things in the past. So I'm ensuring that questions should come from here. Nothing should be missed. Kuch bhi miss na kare. <coughs> Abhi main aapko is tarah question isliye de raha hu taaki aapko yaad ho jaye contest. So that in the exam you should not get confused or you should not actually think yaar yaar ye bhi pad liya hota re thoda sa chhod gaya now this was very much in the news i guess uh, roe versus wade case and all yes i hope you are aware
in fact it was there in sample paper also e what's wrong with option c option c mein kya galat hai anyone tab copy karte hain jaise ek do likhne lagta hai apna bhi kuch opinion diya karo agar aap bol bhi raho chalo e to explain why what's wrong with c yes ashish sharma very good anisha das yes sahil madan yes correct very good नहीं विनायक जोशी सुप्रीम कोर्ट को फॉलो करना तो कंपलसरी होता है लेकिन लॉ बना सकते हैं ठीक है रो वर्सेस वेट केस इज अ जजमेंट ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट इन 1970s आई थिंक 1973 के आसपास यूएस सुप्रीम कोर्ट विच गेव राइट टू हैव एन अबॉर्शन यस रिसेंटली इट वाज ओवरटर्न बाय डॉबसन वर्सेज जैक्सन वुमेन्स हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन केस देखो ये सैम्पल पेपर में भी था क्लैक के एंड इफ यू सी इट केयरफुली दे आर आस्किंग एक्चुअली The name of judgment. Just last week, कल एलेट में भी सवाल पूछा था. We taught this जनहित अभियान केस. Yes. So they are asking that also. कि which what is the name of the judgment which overturned Roe versus Wade case. So the answer is Dobson versus Jackson Women's Health Organization case. ठीक है? ये अभी का दोसर बाई था ना? There is no scope जो ना देखो generally extreme statement गलत होता है. Ninety nine percent cases extreme statement is wrong. Yes, state legislature can make their own laws. ठीक है ना? state different states they have in fact in usa states have more power as compared to india okay because yes of course uh, there in usa the states have more power so uh, this does not appear to be right c is not the correct answer so the right answer is e okay a and b is right ye dono sahi just have an idea ha huh. uh, the next one yes uh, dobson and jackson women's health organization case I hope you are aware of it. 1973 Roe versus Wade case and 2022 is this case. ठीक है? So just have an idea. एक और हमवर के ये भी पढ़ लेना. Planned Parenthood versus Cassie case 1992. Just go and read it. Few lines on Wikipedia. ये भी पढ़ लेना. ठीक है? हो सकता है इससे भी सवाल दे दे. Because वो उससे associated है. Okay? Yes. Uh, the next one is about abortion laws in India. जा पूरा नहीं लिखा क्या? लास्ट वाला मिस कर गया आई वॉज इन हरी एन मिस डिट चलो Medical Termination of Pregnancy Act 1971 deals with the abortion laws in India. Yes, that's correct. Huh. Then Medical Termination of Pregnancy Amendment Act was introduced in 2021, which increased the 20 weeks limit to 24 weeks. <coughs> yes, that is also correct. I have taught in paid classes, so those who are my paid batch student must be aware of it. <coughs> Even an unmarried females can undergo abortion. Yes, Supreme Court recently also said this, although amendment may be thoda sa tha. So the right answer is all of the above. Uh, I hope you are aware. 29th September news. Supreme Court actually uh, access 51 year old curb single women get equal abortion rights. Yes, prohibit unmarried women who are between 20 24 weeks to get uh, abortion. But yes, now it has been allowed by Supreme Court. So yes, Article 21 and all. आपको पता होना चाहिए. I hope you are aware of this. Na? So just have an idea about it. Okay. Uh, the next one is here. <coughs> Which of the following is committee? Uh, which of the following committee was set up to probe uh, to probe the alleged Pegasus spying case? And these are your options. Everyone, please press the like button also. We are seeing 82 likes, 126 is watching. So, sabko like button press kado, everyone. I hope you are aware. Last year, actually, there was very much in the news that there was an allegation of Pegasus spying and all. So last year, the Supreme Court set up a committee, and that is uh, led by, headed by a former judge of Supreme Court, Justice R. V. Ramendran. So Justice R. V. Ramendran committee was set up. Uh, B is the right answer to this question. Yes, Hindustan, Seema, Anand, Patidar, Gunjan, Natasha, Krishna, you all are right. And recently, actually, uh, the report actually came. So this was set up last year. You can see, and the Supreme Court appoints former Judge Justice R. V. Ramendran to oversee expert committee probe Pegasus snooping row. 
and recently actually you can see 26th august and very recently it actually submitted its report justice rv ravindran committee submitted its report and that is why they can ask questions from there now since we are talking about pegasus let us let's ask some question from pegasus also so please answer it which of the following is the maker maker of pegasus software nso group nsa group nasa group northrop group man northrop group man Yes, Anadi, Alethia, Anisha, Belinda, yes. Some people got confused. Look, this is an aviation company. Hawaii Jahaz is making it, so this is no scope. I have again told you, if you similar options, go for that. NSO Group is the right answer. It's an Israeli-based private company, right? I hope you are aware of it. So let me show you. Look, these are the three names. These were the founders of it. So Neev Karmi, Shaleh, Ghulu, and Omri uh, Lavi. So that is why N is here, S from here. And O from here. So that is why uh, this, this is actually from the name of the founders. NSO Group, founded in 2010 from Israel, actually. Yes? The current CEO is Aaron Shohat and all. Just have an idea. They go product we can affect us. So just have an idea about it. So A is the right answer to this question. So this is all about today's class. Please subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook. Download the Baidu's exam prep app also. People were asking how to access paid classes. Download Baidu's exam prep app. Go to CLAT and Law section and find out our courses. Mein jana, aapko you will get actually talk to counselor. Click a button, milega, talk to counselor. Click on it, they will tell you more about it. Pura detail aapko bata denge. Hai? So just have an idea about it. Please press the like button, share this video, and subscribe to our channel. Ab kal mulakat hogi, so we'll be coming uh, running this Haan, nah? continuously. So please do press the like button, share this video, and please be on time tomorrow. Also, I'm ensuring. Uh, that questions should come directly from here. I direct So thank you everyone. My prayers and blessings with you for the upcoming exam. Thank you everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.